Hey everybody, I was asked a very important question. What happens to atom nuclei during a radioactive reaction? But the problem is that I'm not a specialist in the field. And really, that's the only problem. If I were a specialist in the field, there would be no problem whatsoever. I just give you a clear-cut answer, no beating around the bush. Just, you know, that is what happens to atom nuclei. But the problem is that I'm not a specialist. And very seriously, this is the only problem there is. Uh, if I were a specialist, you would just ask me a question. I'd give you a very straight, direct answer. And that'd be that, but I'm not a specialist in the field, and that creates a huge problem. And I just want to be very clear about it, that this is the only reason the problem exists. It's not that I'm in a bad mood. It's not that I'm not willing to answer the question. It's simply that I'm not a specialist in the field, that that uh, situation there creates a problem. It's not the other way around. It's not that the problem exists, and then I'm not a specialist. No, I'm first not a specialist in the field, and that, in turn, creates a problem. Can you see the causality loop there? So the fact that I'm not a specialist in the field creates a problem of me not being able to answer the question. But again, I just want to underline that as emotionally and as boldly as possible that the problem exists simply because I'm not a specialist. If I were a specialist, the problem would not be there. And if I were not a specialist, the problem is there. It's as simple as that. So there's, you know, there's my commentary on the topic. And you have, you have to understand that not being a specialist in the field is very normal, but that creates problems when you're being asked questions about the field that you're not a specialist in. Uh, and if you are a specialist in the field, then there's absolutely no problem. And, you know, I've experienced this many times in my life. People ask me questions, and I'm not a specialist, and there's a problem. And then people ask me questions when I am a specialist, and there's no problem. And this is so fascinating. I think this is, this is just part, such a fundamental part of reality that you just can't escape from it, you know. If you're not a specialist in the field, there's a problem. And in this case, I'm not a specialist in the field, and it's a problem. Well, of course, you can become a specialist in the field and solve the problem. In fact, I've been scouting some of the universities and colleges available, and I have to say that it's not that expensive. It's pretty realistic. You do have to pay some money and spend some time, but you can actually solve a problem by becoming a specialist in the field. And this is what I really you know, learned from all of this experience, that if you want to become a specialist in the field, you have to do this. And this is the only way to solve a problem of not being able to answer a question. For example, let's look at this situation. I was asked a question I was not able to answer. Why? Because I'm not a specialist in the field. And that was the problem. That was the only problem. It was not political. It was not cultural. It was simply a lack of understanding uh, of the field in this case, nuclear physics. And, you know, that's the only problem. And seriously, absolutely seriously, I will not tolerate any other opinions. Really, it was just that. It's not about, you know, me being against a person who's asking the question. That person is, uh, is a very good person and nothing against him whatsoever. So I'm not accepting any conspiracy theories either. No, it's just very clear-cut simple. I'm not a specialist in the field. And there you go. Don't ask a person who's not a specialist in the field and expect an answer. Do ask a person who's not a specialist in the field and expect a problem. There you go. I hope that answered your question, sir. Thank you.